So there is a game-changing new weight loss drug, according to the New York Times, called semaglutide, um, otherwise known as Ozempic. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not, so forgive me. Um, all right, I, I mean, look, back in the day, I used to really go to town on all this stuff and say, don't do it, and these are all the reasons this stuff is so bad. And as I've gotten older, I will take just about anything and everything that would help somebody lose weight if they are in danger for their health. So this is a drug that, quote, is used with proper diet and exercise to control high blood sugar in people with type 2 diabetes. Controlling high blood sugar helps prevent kidney damage, blindness, nerve problems, loss of limbs, sexual function problems, on and on and on. We all know type 2 diabetes is a really dangerous thing, right? Bad for you. Extremely dangerous. So, all right. Let me just tell you that I, I do not judge you. I, I want you to do whatever it takes to get healthy. But if I could make you aware of some of the dangers or even downsides to things like this and encourage you to try without it, then I will do so. So first of all, let's look at the game-changing effects of this drug. Now remember that it's used with proper diet and exercise, right? So in total, adults on, this is from MedPage Today, adults on semaglutide treatment lost an average of 33.7 pounds by week 68. That means that this game-changing drug took less than half of a pound off of people, okay? Over 68 weeks, half of a pound, less than half of a pound. And they're supposedly eating right and working out, which is debatable because if you were doing those two things, you would get better results than a half a pound a week. What does the drug do? Supposedly, it mimics a hormone that makes you feel more full, better satiated, a satiety hormone. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot more going on with it, but this is, this is the big claim. Now, I'm just saying, I don't think those are game changing results. So I bet you that we could lose up to two pounds on a realistic diet and exercise program without you feeling miserable. Even if we lost one pound, even if we lost a half a pound, which is not hard to do. That would mean you cut about 1800 calories over the course of a week. We would cut 300 calories over the course of your day. It's a frappuccino from Starbucks without putting this drug in your system. That's all we would have to do to get a half a pound off of you. A week is cut about 300 calories out of your diet a day or increase your activity to burn 300 more calories a day, okay? Or both, we could cut 150 calories and work out for 20 minutes and burn 150 calories and we would be there, all right? so. Now then, one of the participants in the study was saying that like, oh man, she, she, you know, even though she was eating right and working out, she lost 40 pounds, so it had to be the drug semaglutide, right? But the issue is that when she got off the drug, guess what happened? The weight started coming back on. So what does she say exactly? Because I don't want to misquote. She says... Uh, Kiana Mosley, who lives in Chicago, spent years trying to lose weight with diets and drugs, but to no avail. Then Ms. Mosley joined the semaglutide trial and lost 40 pounds, okay? Ms. Mosley didn't know until recently whether she was getting the drug or the placebo, even though she was trying to eat well and exercise. I mean, that's the battle right there. And she said her weight was dropping so fast, had to be the drugs, the meds, excuse me. She experienced no side effects, thank goodness, but when the trial ended and she didn't get the drug anymore, the weight started coming back. I was so sad, she said, and she's eager to resume taking the drug once it's available. So what worries me about this? Well, we've just negated the fact that she has completely changed her habits and she was eating better and she was exercising, and now she feels disempowered without the drug and discouraged, which is scary, right? So she thinks she can't do it without the drug, which is not at all the case. Some of the side effects of this drug are fairly significant. Now, 
let's see, we've got the typical WebMD thing, right? Where it's like nausea, diarrhea, all the typical vomiting, all that typical stuff. Uh, okay. But let's say, you know, you're like, eh, yeah, I'm going to get past that. I'm not super worried about it. Here's the one that kind of scares the crap out of me. This is ozempicpro.com. Um, the drug, okay, this, sorry, my bad. No, it's not. This is on uh, Sloan Kettering Cancer Center on semaglutide. The drug has been shown to cause thyroid cancer in some animals. It is not known if this happens in humans. If thyroid cancer happens, it may be deadly if not found and treated early. Call your doctor right away if you have a mass in your neck. Okay, so what do we got here? We got a drug that is taking a half a pound, not even off of people, over the course of a year plus. We can do that with very, very chill calorie reduction. Don't have to go crazy by any stretch of the imagination and a moderate, moderate exercise program, okay? We got a drug that can cause nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, all that stuff. Not a good time. Potentially thyroid cancer, right? We don't know. It's caused thyroid cancer in animals. We don't know if it causes that in people. We know that common sense eating and regular exercise actually reduce your risk of cancer and can help reverse type 2 diabetes by resensitizing your body to insulin so we get all the good stuff with none of the negative side effects and you're empowered. You're not giving your accomplishment away to a drug because if you're eating right and you're working out, how do you know it's not that? And then you run the risk of the drug. So. I, I am not here to judge anyone. My, my opinion on all of this has shifted over the years, whether it's a gastric bypass surgery. If you, I get it. I understand the fear. I understand that things can feel hopeless. I do, but I just simply want to educate you that these results are not game changing. What's game changing is exercise and proper nutrition. That's a game changer. And it's way more than a half a pound a week. But we'll take, if we're so excited about half a pound a week, that's actually going to be easy for you to do. Comparatively speaking to a pound a week, two pounds a week, with none of those dangerous potential side effects. None of them. So, again, there's no judgment here. This is all about information. And I'm here to say that you can do this. This drug may help you feel less hungry, which is, which is great. But the bigger picture here is that when the drug is gone, the issues underlying why we overeat are still there. And that's why dealing with those core issues, people can say, ah, oh, diet and exercise don't work. Well, if they're not working, it's because you're not doing it consistently. And if you're not doing it consistently, it's because there is something in you that is not ready to do it consistently, right? There's something in you that is choosing to eat more or to be a bigger size. And again, that's okay. There is no shame in that. But if you want to get healthy, looking at what's making you make that choice or driving you to make that choice is the answer. Diet and exercise do work very well and very safely and have a host of positive side effects. These drugs don't. They have a host of potential negative side effects and they don't solve what's underneath. So that is my take on this one. And know that like, I don't judge you no matter what you choose. I'm just here to give you the information that I find and interpret it for you. Oh yeah, click and comment and like and post and all that and I will try to address some of your questions. Okay, team, don't forget, I created this channel just for you guys. So click like, subscribe, and let me know what you want to hear more about. If it's diet, fitness, wellness, mindfulness, I'm here for you. So give me your feedback.